Well, Superman came about because uh, both Joe Schuster and I were uh, great science fiction fans back in the 1930s. And to fill you in a little on the, really the beginning of it all, one night, as has been mentioned in uh, past stories, ideas kept coming to me, and I kept getting up again and again during the night and just jotting down these ideas and uh, these scripts until uh, very early the next morning, I dashed over to Joe's house, which is about 10 blocks away. I, I showed him the uh, script of Superman, the entirely new concept in which there would be a meek, mild man, a reporter, Clark Kent, uh, Lois Lane, who scorned him, but who was, uh, who flipped over su uh, Superman, not knowing that Superman and Clark Kent were one and the same person. Now, you want to stay? Was, you want to stay with your reaction? Well, I was, was very, you? very excited about the whole idea. I just, uh, I just uh, uh, took on uh, the same enthusiasm. <laughs> I, I thought it was a terrific idea, and we went right to work. Uh, right then and there. You sat down at the at, drawing oh, board we and, spent the and you began day. designing the, uh, the way the characters Yeah, look, we right? spent the entire day working on it, all afternoon, and, and we uh, at the drawing board, Jerry and I. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now, I remember designed, that the uh, matter of, of the costuming of Superman yeah, came up, and, and yeah, I, I remember uh -huh. two suggestions I made well, to you. One that the letter S well, be, be on his chest Right, as I wanted to give him a skin-tight costume to to show up his physique, for one thing, and then Jerry suggested putting on a, a cape. A cape. So that when the character zooms so through the air, would give more more flowing, action and movement make to the it look character. Look like he's really flying, yeah. and uh, very very. And colorful. of course, yeah, you added all those and additional things like yeah, the yeah. the boots and the yeah. belt and the yeah. and, and, and the whatever. I wanted to make it as simple as possible. Yeah. And what about Clark Kent? Well. Uh, uh, both Joe and I, uh, you know, wear glasses, you know, most of the time, and it uh, occurred to me that uh, there was no uh, adventure comics to appear at that time who wore glasses, so I thought it would be quite uh, different to have Clark Kent wear glasses, and also the wearing of glasses <coughs> gives the impression of meekness and mildness, mm -hmm. which goes into Harold Lloyd, <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the influence of Harold Lloyd on mm -hmm. us and his movies. We were both great movie fans, yeah. and we, we especially loved some of those movies in which Harold Lloyd would start off as a sort of mama's boy, being pushed around, kicked around, thrown around, and then suddenly it would turn into a fighting whirlwind. <laughs> Uh, that I put into it. Uh, I was kind of mild, meek mannered, uh, mild mannered, <laughs> and wore glasses, so I, I really identified with it. Did you look in the mirror? And sort of oh, many out? times for expressions, yeah, for facial expressions, I did look in the mirror. Oh yes, <laughs> that was uh, you know, that was part of it. That was part of the fun. Can you show us the, what the original Superman looked like? Here's the pencil sketch of the original Superman. That, that was the uh, first cover of the Superman book. That was 1939. And is that how it actually appeared? Yeah, that's how he appeared. See? Right. You were saying that some of the po the Superman poses. Um, how did you how did you get them? Yes, I was a great fan of Douglas Fairbanks, and uh, so was Jerry. And uh, I tried to use uh, uh, that his stance, uh, the way Douglas Fairbanks looked in the, the Black Pirate, with hands on his hips, and this, uh, this see Robin Hood, and the Mark of Zorro, and, and all of those. He had this marvelous. Uh, attitude, which uh, Jerry and I agree. Well, in writing the script, I had Douglas Fairbanks very much in mind in the athletic stunts that he did, too. So uh, the influence of Douglas Fairbanks was not only in the art, but also in the, in his, in, 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 in the visual, uh, in visual uh, action. Uh, the Duke has carried out his promise and parades his prize before the admiring eyes of the pirates. 